Hi, everybody, and welcome to this month's episode of the .org Thought Corner, where we are discussing integrity in our namespace, which is .org. With me, I have Anand Vora. Hi, Anand. Hey, how's it going? It's going, you know. <laughs> Hanging in there? <laughs> yeah, we're trying to be resilient, and um, you guys can tell this is clearly due to COVID, due to the pandemic, everybody is working from home. And so we still wanted to provide this information to you. So we just decided to do a cute little Zoom call. And so here we are in boxes on your screen. Yay. <laughs> and do you have your matcha tea? You know what? Nice. Always, except this time it's coconut milk and matcha. That's good. That's even better. Yeah, coconut milk is really good for your skin. So. Yep. Nice. All right. Well, let's get into it, shall All right. we? Yes, let's All do right. it. So we know and love that the .org domain is associated with trust amongst the masses. So how has .org built the reputation of trust over the years? Like, how do we get there? That's a great question, but not a simple one to answer. So I'm going to try and keep it high level and answer the question to the best okay. of my ability. Um, I believe the trust that .org has built over the years um, first and foremost is attributed to the amazing dot org community, right? This community does amazing work out there, both in the digital space and the real world. Um, second to the registrar partners that actually help us and facilitate, facilitate our dot org community to come online and do good. And to the team of PIR that works tirelessly in the background to make sure that org is run as an exemplary registry day in, day out. So I think it's not just one thing or one person or one segment, it's collectively the people of .org um, that make it um, great. The full .org community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. So especially with the current environment being that Miss Rona COVID-19 has reared her ugly head globally, um, why do you think it's so important that website owners build their site on a clean and trusted domain? Yeah. So everything going on in the world due to the pandemic has seen individuals, companies, organizations stop going to work uh, or going to the nonprofit or the social mission organizations. And they have to do whatever they do at their home, right? Um, so what we have seen, not just within our industry, but in general, a exponential increase in individuals and organizations coming online a lot of things that would have been done offline is slowly migrating to online. Um, and as the online activities increase, it is important to make sure that an end user has the confidence, the trust and security of going to websites. Um, this, this makes it important that a website is on a trusted domain like a .org. Mm -hmm. And then, so why do you think that we see integrity as a priority? Like, just generally speaking, the people behind .org, our team, and those who put effort into the .org domain, like trust and integrity is such a priority. Mm -hmm. um, it's a running theme. I love it. Yep. Um, but why do you think it's so important? Like just beyond, you know, having a website and making sure that we org the dot org domain space right i mean one of our ethos is to um run an exemplary registry also to give through the dot org domain space give voice to online voice to individuals to nonprofits, to social mission organizations to social entrepreneurs anyone that wants to do good and come on the internet and do that good we it dot org has a home for them over there um, and to do that, integrity and trust is a big piece. So that is why it's important. And you'll see this, um, this theme, as you said, um, it's, it's across the company. It's been there while I was here the first time around, as some of you know, I was at PIR before and while, when I came back. Um, and first, I'll, I'll just point out a few things that we're doing, right? The first and foremost is the leadership that PIR team has taken in the anti-abuse space. Um, we were the first registry to put out our anti-abuse principles and efforts out there within the community, um, the larger internet space. We have like-minded registries and registrars actually come in and join us in the effort. And it's a company-wide effort. 
Um, one of the reasons we want to do this is to make sure that the abuse and the abusive behavior in dot org space is to a minimum. We already have one of, if not the lowest spam house bad score, badness score, which is amazing uh, for a TLDR size. Um, that's on the company wide. Then on the business side, we have an initiative called QPI, Quality Performance Index Initiative. And the whole aim of that is to make sure that we run and grow our business um, responsibly and mm -hmm. have the dot org namespace grow quality wise, not just quantity. Um, and then something, and this, this is, it's an ongoing effort, right? And yeah. an example um, and how we address some of these things based on the current situation or whatever is happening in the moment right now, pandemics is happening, right? So what we have done as a company is we have had a cross-functional team uh, legal data analytics, channel services, operations, and finance come together and make sure that there are no bad actors out there using the .org namespace to create fake sites and try to sell fake cures for COVID-19. So this is just one of the ways that we constantly strive to do good, strive to maintain the integrity of the internet and the .org space. Um, and though that was a reaction to the COVID-19 pandemic occurring, there were things that were put in place, like you said before, mm -hmm. that we were kind of already in the movement yep. of keeping everything clean and making sure there were no um, false. Like I know we did um, a bunch of things with the FDA regarding the opioid crisis. Mm -hmm. um, we, like you mentioned, there were the Internet Avengers, which, you know, I said, that's my name for them. I love that name. I think it's so much better than the framework. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. The framework against abuse. Um, yes. And so we, 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 I mean, there's the CSAM also. So there's, there's a lot of things that we're doing and this, it's not just on the policy side. That's the beauty. What we do is cut it across all, all verticals of the company and business. Right. Um, we're all working together to make sure that this one goal is one of exactly. our, goals, but our, this one goal is taken exactly. care of. And it's not just external. Um, mm -hmm. I, I do want to mention that internally too, right? Um, there are, there's a lot being done internally to keep the employees morale high, especially in this time, in this tiring time of everyone working from home. It's, we are in back to back zoom calls, being working from home and being completely virtual. Um, it becomes a lot sometimes. So, um, we're doing a lot to do that internally too, and our amazing HR team is taking the lead on it. So it's integrating both inward and outward facing. Yeah. So, yeah. So along we're with trying to we're trying to walk the talk. Is that right? Talk, walk it how you talk it. Yeah. Walk, talk the walk, whatever. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> 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 so along with those conscious decisions to make sure that our namespace is clean, remain like make sure that we are working within uh, with integrity and keeping everything trustworthy. Um, we're sharing those efforts, like you mentioned a few minutes ago with our registry, registrars, mm -hmm. other registries um, and organizations, like we partner with them. So let's take a minute to talk about the registrars. Um, sure. Can you give yeah. a little information on the program that we launched last year to help them to keep their namespaces or keep their spaces clean as well and why it was so important for us to do that? Yeah, sure. Um, so the program, the initiative that you're referring to, again, it's called QPI Quality Performance Index. Um, yes. We launched it in Q2 of 2019. Um, and the idea, again, came out of success is not one dimensional. A lot of times in our industry, we end up looking at success as just numbers. How many new creates did we get this year? Did we get more new creates than last year? What's our dumb? It's, and it's one singular way of looking at it. Um, we at PIR want to look at it a bit differently too. No, don't get me wrong, numbers and growth is important, but the kind of growth is also important, yes. which is the quality growth. Um, so that's where on a very high level, QPI initiative stemmed out of. Um, the aim of this initiative is to maintain and grow the quality of the .org domain space. Every .org registrar gets a QPI score. The weighted score is calculated based on certain indices um, of their abuse rate, usage, renewal, um, re renewal rate, SSL attachments, DNS sec enablement. Um, and then there is a scale. Number, based on the number of points you get, um, you either qualify or you don't qualify. 
and the qualifying registrars get access to participate in the discount program. Regist Again, this is not a program just to incentivize registrars that already have a good .org namespace. Right. Um, it's also an opportunity for our channel services team led by Inma to work with the registrars that did not pass a particular QPI um, and work with those registrars to A, explain the program um, and do a deep dive of where their scores were lower and where and how they can improve the score in turn, improve the domain namespace and then get access to the um, QPI initiative and incentives. So, so it's like an opportunity, um, yep. how can we help our customers this level, which is the registrars to become better registrars. Exactly. And then once we give them that information, here's where you can do better. And then they implement it. Then we kind of reward them. Yep, exactly. Exactly. And it's, it's, an, um, it's a great opportunity to um, start discussing about the larger initiatives at PIR and .org also. Very much. Yeah. So are there any updates soon to improve or expand the program? And have you gotten any feedback from registrars so far? Yeah. So we are in our fifth, the current QPI is the fifth version of the QPI. Uh, we are working on a Q3 uh, 2020 promotion. We constantly strive to improve the program. Um, we have this open channel with the registrars and we get feedback from the registrar partners also in the way we look at some of these indices. So we're always updating our indices. We're looking at adding more indices. It's a constant evolution of the program. Um, I, I'm gonna wait till we launch the Q3 program and then we can have this conversation again of what okay. we updated. But yes, okay. uh, it's we are we are constantly updating the program so yeah good good and i'm yeah. glad to hear that the feedback has been positive and they've yes. actually taken advantage of the opportunity to better themselves because that's the whole point of it yeah and the feedback's not just been from the registrars it's been from the larger community so um one of our internet avengers brian symbolic um so, so he, he's captain america you guys for the record <laughs> he's captain america I'm Iron Man because I have a good balance between the business and do good stuff. Okay. So I'm, I'll be Groot. <laughs> done. <laughs> um, but Brian, Brian's efforts on uh, Brian and John's efforts on and the company's efforts on anti-abuse um, and the efforts of QPI, it's a perfect bridge between the policy world and the business world. Um, so we have, we've gotten a lot of great feedback from the larger internet and ICANN community. Um, and we're looking to keep on building on top of this, um, hoping that other partners, um, see the direction we're going in and find value, uh, for their business too. That sounds great. I can't wait to see where this goes and how it progresses through the years. Neither can I. Well, you know what? We're at time. I don't want to take everybody's time up, even though we could talk all day about this, but thank you for being resilient and thank you for allowing me to Zoom interview you for this. Thank call. you for everything you do. Thank you. It was fun. Give, give kisses and snuggles to the baby. I will. I will. I'll have her on the next one. Oh, that would be so, I'm going to interview <laughs> her, talk, talk to her about things. <laughs> all right. <laughs> thank you. In her onesie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Take it easy. Till next time.